everybody welcome back to just dream guide okay so you guys know how this goes channel messages first okay you guys the song that i'm hearing today is are you ready for your blessings are you ready for your miracles so some of you guys need to really really truly believe in miracles today you guys get ready because a lot of times you know it's so funny because a lot of times we like to say okay yeah i want to get blessed i want to be blessed i want to be blessed yeah but are you ready for this blessing? Are you ready? If Father comes and triples your income right now, what are you going to do with it? Are you overspending? Are you, um, you know, giving your money away to too many people, people that don't deserve your money? Um, you know, we got to be careful and use discernment when we do allow people to borrow money, okay? We do have to be using discernment when we want to go out and buy things that we like or we enjoy or things like that. Whatever the case may be, Father is saying that he's about to bless you. So are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, this is going to be a singles one today, singles slash separation. So if you've been, you know, either single or you've been in separation, this is this is definitely for you because I've been praying about this one. I wanted you guys to like get some, you know, guidance as well. You know, this twin flame union stuff, it's been twin flame union for weeks now. Um, and so we get that part. But I just wanted to talk to the people that have been in separation for a very long time and then, you know, to give you guys some hope just to let you guys know too that you do have love coming in. On top of that, it's a blessing coming in. Blessings coming in. I'm, I'm hearing abundance. But you know how I feel about that. Abundance in all areas. That means in work, in career, in finances, in, in your household, in your life. Mental, physical, spiritual health, well-being. You know, really, really thinking about all those things and whatnot. Okay? And my nose is itching communication. Somebody might be coming in to speak to you, talk to you. And because my cat is begging so much right now, I'm just hearing somebody begging for your attention, for your time, okay? You actually might be getting those text messages or emails or phone calls or whatever. Somebody's begging for your attention, for your time, for your time of day. You might not have enough time of day, you know, be in my boat. In my boat, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time for myself, you guys. So, you know, as far as being available, some of you guys are very unavailable, which makes sense because Father's asking, are you ready for this blessing? Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready for your life to change right now? If you're not ready, then you're not ready for your blessing. You know, sometimes we put our own doubts, it, it roadblocks us. It, it's, it's, it prevents some things from coming into our life because we want to say, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But Father's like, well, get ready. Okay? I'm hearing that. I'm so <laughs> It might sound a little preachy, but I'm hearing Father saying, get ready. Get ready for your blessing. If you really want a family, get ready for a family. I mean, one of the things about animals is that it prepares you for, like, routine, for getting ready for, like, if you want a child and you can't take care of a dog, then, you know, you might want to work really hard on that one because Father's not going to bless you with a child and you can't even take care of the minimal stuff, okay? So get ready. If you want a car and you're not maintaining your old car, get ready. If you want a different career and you're not putting your all into your career right now or into yourself, into your business, into your entrepreneurship, whatever it is, get ready, okay? Because I'm just hearing just blessings on blessings on blessings. Just like, uh, what's this song? Um, I'm hearing Chance the Rapper, but he's like, it seems like blessings keep falling in my lap. <laughs> so it's time, okay? Father's preparing that for you. Bottom of the deck energy today is patience and planning. All right, and that's just that's just a reminder as well. Don't think that things things do just fall in your lap. Yes, but opportunity does. Okay, success is where opportunity meets preparation. Okay, so prepare for this. Make sure you're doing a lot of planning, and don't lose focus of your plan just because it's not coming into fruition yet. Even for those of you that I'm gonna tap on the twin planes a little bit. Some of you all are trying to push forward. And, um, you know, I'm seeing proposals, I'm seeing marriages, I'm seeing, you know, really big gestures of commitment here. I'm seeing you changing your life, you're changing your habits, you're changing your ideas about things and, um, you know, the ideology of a relationship. You're learning to be a supporter and a helper and a lover, a true person that, you know, understands that a, a relationship requires commitment on both ends, that it requires work on both ends. So with that being said, have some patience, but also plan this. Understand that things have to change in order for things to come in, okay? That goes for relationships, your finances, your career, whatever the case may be. You guys just know that blessings are coming, okay? Patience and planning, though. So that's the seven of pentacles, which is funny because I called that out yesterday. I said that was in my third eye. Somebody's about to get a poke right at the end. You don't need to swash the whole garden because ah, I've been waiting on these roses to grow.
bro, I'm gonna use that same analogy from yesterday, especially because I'm wearing red today. Okay, but yeah, you've been waiting on these roses and they ain't came in yet, so now you're gonna just, you know, throw away the whole garden. Now you're just gonna uproot everything. No, continue to be patient, continue to plan. Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy, seeds well planted, things are coming in because you've done it, you've done the work, okay? Unnecessary worry though. Some of you all are worried about being single. You're worried that somebody's not gonna come in. They are. Unnecessary worry. Focus on yourself, and when you focus on yourself, you attract love. You attract financial blessings. You attract, okay? Um, and some of you all are worried about your twin flame coming in. Don't worry about it, okay? These phone calls are coming in. I know because when my nose starts itching, y'all know that's communication. So communication is coming in for the twin flame connections. And for those of you that are single, that are waiting for somebody to come in, you know, to... I don't know. I'm not saying forgive or, or um, I'm hearing something about like loneliness. Uh, don't ever want anybody there just because you're lonely. You want somebody there just because you 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 want somebody there. It's never going to work out. You need to understand that things come together. Two people come together for a divine purpose. Okay. That's what a divine connection is. So just know you need to be doing your part. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Let's go on to today's messages. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and then for both of you all. Thank you so much for your time. As usual, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next week.